Centric shot. Two TP here. What's up with y'all, man? Today we're gonna be going over everything setting related to the keyboard I use, mouse I use, in-game settings, out-of-game settings, whatever. Just so y'all know, uh, the description will have everything that's in this video uh, in it, so you can go back and double check even the timestamps. Um, I'll have them as well, but yeah. So as you guys may know, I do use 1680 by 1050 res. Um, I was using 1728 by 1080, but uh, now I'm on 16 by 10. If you don't know how to change your res, all you do is right click your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, and then set a custom res right here. Click apply. I use a 165 uh, refresh rate. And um, yeah. FOV I set to 110. Um, I don't use 120. 120 is not for me. FOV ability scaling, you're just gonna turn off because this is just a bad setting. Uh, sprint view shake, minimal. I don't like my screen going all over the place. Vsync, turn that off. NVIDIA Reflex, uh, go ahead and boost that. This is a huge uh, setting that Apex uh, provides, so you're gonna wanna turn this on. Uh, Anti-aliasing, you're gonna wanna set to none. Texture streaming, uh, set that to whatever. Um, if you want super potato, you set it to none. If you want really high, like good graphics, set it to high. Um, I'm just in the middle, uh, I don't, like it tanking my FPS that much, uh, and my game feels fine just on medium. Texture filtering, bilinear, not really sure what that does. Bilinear though. <laughs> uh, ambient occlusion, uh, disable that, I don't know what that does. Uh, the sun details, turn that off. Um, but sometimes seeing somebody's shadow could help you, so it's up to you if you want to leave that setting on. Um, spot shadow, no. Uh, lighting, disable, disable, and then low for low for the rest of these. All right, now we're gonna go over this program called Reshade. And basically what this is, is how I get my game so bright and so saturated. So all you're gonna do is take uh, your Apex, assign it to Reshade, like do all this. And so once it's assigned to Apex, all you're gonna do from there is just launch your game. All right, so now that we're in the game, um, I use Technicolor. Uh, dot fx and then right here this little box down here will tell you uh, the brightness the saturation i have red green and blue so go ahead and copy these so i'm going to show you guys what the difference uh reshade actually makes to your game right now i do have reshade on but i'm going to turn it off in three two one that's what it looks like without it uh, I'm gonna turn it off and I can't believe I was playing the game like this. Like look how gray it looks. I couldn't deal with it, so I leave it on. Makes the color of the game pop. These are my launch settings. Um anything after this uh 140, I have no idea what happens. Um shout out to Bara aka Entity uh, 7X for uh helping me with some of this stuff uh, in my game. But if you want to copy this, you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure it just helps smooth out the game. Not really sure what those commands do. You can uh, <laughs> you can experiment if you want to. But the ones we're going to be focusing on are these uh, four right here. Okay, so for this first one, this local one, um, this is going to be the red flash uh, you see in the videos. It's like a little glow effect once you kill somebody. A little bit of visual clutter, but it looks fantastic. And um, you can do what you want with that. Dash dev, this is um, the launch uh, startup intro before the main menu, uh, the super loud intro. If you wanna remove that, just put dash dev and then you're good. Uh, I set my FPS to 140. Um, I'm used to lower frames coming from like an old dusty PC. So uh, yeah, I have this on 140, but you can set it to whatever you want. So I'll be showing you guys my sense in a second here, but for right now, we're gonna go over um, my keybinds. So, for my uh, WASD, of course, classic, and then tap strafe bound to scroll wheel up. Uh, sprint, I have at shift, jump, space bar, and scroll wheel down. Crouch, I have on hold. I don't recommend toggle. So for my attack, I use Q, and then my ultimate, I use F. My interact is V, and I get flame for this, like, religiously, like it's bad. 
<laughs> it's because of Fortnite days, but um, the only downside to having V as your interact, it, your thumb is going to get a workout, bro. You're going to have like a swollen ass thumb. My alternate interact is H. Uh, I don't think I've ever used that unless you're like on Catalyst or something. My inventory is tab, of course. Uh, map is M. Of course, shoot with mouse one. Toggle fire is X. Melee, control, left control. Uh, reload R, of course. Uh, my weapons are one, two, and three. Grenade is G. My survival item is left alt. Uh, I, this is my heal wheel. Uh, I use four. For med kits, I use at six, but I don't ever use keybind. Like, this is pointless. Um, I just use the heel wheel mostly. Um, for my shield cell, shield battery, I use my side mouse buttons. Actually, comes in very clutch. I recommend this. Finish kit at nine. Don't use it. Uh, util action B. Uh, inspect weapon is E. And then the rest. Oh yeah, my ping is Z. And then the rest. And pause the video. Yeah, I don't really use this. The, the game settings I have, prompt style, you're gonna wanna have this at compact. Makes it so you don't get visual clutter by just like looking towards the direction and a gun popping up, you know what I'm saying? Button hints, uh, up to you. You can have them on. Crosshair, this is up to you. Um, basically like the hit markers and stuff. I like seeing it, it's like satisfying. Damage numbers, stack, of course. Uh, ping, opacity, I've faded, less visual clutter. Obituaries, which is like your map and stuff. Uh, I have that on. You map on. Uh, auto cycle, I have it off. Uh, auto sprint, I do use auto sprint. Um, because my pinky was putting in overtime. So I was like, I'm just going to throw this on. And it's it's helped a lot. But yeah, it's up to you if you want to use it or not. Double tap sprint. Uh, this is in Minecraft. Don't turn this on. Bro, who cares? No one plays Valk. It's not season anymore taking damage close death box okay the only reason you would have this on is a you're on controller b you've never played the game before most of these settings are just like visual clutter like craziness performance display obviously that's like what shows your ping and your fps and stuff like that you want to keep that on or not i mean it's up to you i like having it on though oh reticle okay reticle i'm using the t-lot 4 classic you guys can Copy it down right there. Shout out to T Lot 4. Number one rated mixtape of all time. Uh, my laser sight is pink. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the in game settings. Now we're going to move on to uh, mouse and keyboard settings. So I'm currently using 1.35 uh, in game. And then if I pull up the software, I'm using 950 uh, DPI. And then uh, 2K pulling rate. The mouse I'm currently using is the WL Beast X. I've been on it for about a month now. And the mouse I was using previously was the, what's it called? Super Light G Pro. Um, both really good mice. Um, I will say though, I've been having a lot more fun on the Beast X. Uh, maybe because it's just new, but I like the lighter feel and uh, easy it is to like move around, especially with the sky pad, like it just, it just feels nice. The only downside I would say about it is probably like the scroll wheel compared to the G Pro. Like they're a lot more, the G Pro is a lot more smooth and this is very notchy, but you get used to it after a while and I don't really notice it anymore. All right, now we're gonna go over the wooding, uh, AKA my keyboard. So first of all, settings I'm using are kinda not mine. Uh, shout out to Treeree. Uh, he kinda helped me like figure out some settings. He has a video on it as well. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But yeah, basically, uh, I just have my actuation points. So if I go to performance right here, um, I can set my actuation points. And what I'm currently using is point one on my W, A, S, and D. And then for my C and spacebar, um, I have these differently. So depending on like your frame rate and stuff like that, you're going to need to be uh, adjusting it. So I currently use a 1.7 on my C key and a 0.8 on my spacebar. Depending on how you feel, um, this could change drastically. So after you figure that out, um, you're gonna set your rapid trigger, um, turn it on. I like having it on. Basically makes it so you don't have to press your key all the way down again. It kind of messes me up sometimes, like when I'm 
skydiving uh, out the dropship, but it's whatever. Uh, backyard mode, go ahead and turn that on. I'll be leaving my profile code in the description below so you guys can just uh, put that into Wooting software. All you do to do that is uh, click import profile and then uh, put my code right here and then you'll get you'll get this right here. If we look over to the left here, we also have guapis and xyluses. So if you guys want to copy any of these, feel free and go ahead. I'm leaking the sauce. The last thing we're going to touch on today is my OBS settings. This is how you guys see the videos and what I record in and stuff like that. I'm going to open up the settings tab here, go to output. Uh, so I stream with my GPU, my NVIDIA and my Vscale uh, output. This is what you guys see, which 1728. The encoder settings, I have constant bitrate. 6k bitrate preset quality and then profile is high and i use uh max b frames too for the recording output i use uh, mp4 and my gpu again and then i use uh, uh 2560 by 1440 and basically that's the 1440 quality you see on youtube same thing going on here we have the cbr my bitrate i record in 20k my preset is performance my profile is high and then B frames. So if you head over to the videos tab here, so my base canvas is 1728, and then this is what you guys see on Twitch, uh, the 936p, I think. So if you want that, just copy these down. I use a bicubic uh, downscale filter, and then I record in 60 frames. I don't really, you can go higher if you want, uh, it's up to you, but 60 is perfectly fine with me. But yeah, that's all for my recording settings. So if you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate it a lot. Or it means the most to me. I can't believe we hit 10K. But yeah, we're going to keep grinding. Um, stay tuned for another gameplay video. You guys have been dying for my settings, so I figured out how to lay it out and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Have a good one.